Okay, this is the conclusion to the three part video of doing your carburetors. Um, <clears throat> I've stripped them all down, cleaned them all up, but I just wanted to show you um, what each bit does as a bit of a reminder. So, <clears throat> these two pipes on the left. Um, I don't know if you can see that. Um, these are used to balance the carbs along with these two pipes on the right. They're used to balance the carbs as well. I've put the manifolds on. Um, these just bolt onto the cylinder um, head. And what I've done is stripped them all down, cleaned them all up. Now, you can probably just see there's a, 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 a faint green slimy snot stuff in there. Um, although that stained the aluminium, it is actually clean, but the, the carbs were full of that. And there is a clean bowl now um, with your various jets a jet there 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 this is your float bowl as well um, and there's an air screw up there as well now these air screws the ones there um, you've got to wind them fully in and turn them out so many turns. Now, because I don't know, well, I've forgotten how many turns you've got to turn them out, all I did was count how many I unscrewed them and put them back in. So I'm assuming that's going to be okay. If the bike runs a bit crap when I put, it, when I put the cams back on, then I'll do it properly. I'll find out how many it should be. Um, so what I'm going to quickly do now is just pop a screw into the float ball and then I can turn them over. So I'll turn these over now. It's a bit hard with one hand. Now, uh, I don't know if you can remember from the previous video that. Oh, shit. Hang on. Alright, sorry about that. Uh, somebody came to the door. Right, <clears throat> as I was saying, um, on that carburetta, this one here, when we did the um, original mover in movie number one, I think, it was jam solid. But now. It's perfect, is that? It's lovely. They're all moving freely. So, that's superb. So, I can't wait to get them back on bike. Um, so, what I'm going to do now is put some screws back in there and then um, put them somewhere nice and safe. Uh, I will be doing a video of how to put them on the bike, so keep watching. <laughs> 